The fall of Bardun was an inside job by the Gondorian government, operating in consort with Sauron to make it seem like he'd been defeated. So we just lie down and take it like dogs and accept the rule of the reunited kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Sauron has to be a globalist. <laughs> like, you see why he brought all the orcs together and, you know... Globalist like, elite. Yeah. This is just so, so brazen how they expect us to fall for their lies. Listen to this. This is the official story. I'm not making this up. This is the official story as released by Minister Earth. Two hobbits managed to sneak through the mountains, escape capture, make it all the way through Mordor, climbed Mount Doom, which we're supposed to believe had no security despite being Sauron's only weakness, and threw the ring into the lava, destroying the Dark Lord once and for all. What a load of fucking bullshit. This is crap. This is all crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, it matches so well yeah. though. it works so well I am insulted that I am expected to believe this and not only that but to accept that now in a completely separate incident an heir of a Sildor who has been dead for 3,000 years mind you has suddenly appeared and now we here in Bree and everywhere in Eridor are supposed to just bow down oh praise the king praise the king like good little sheep and accept that we're now his subjects. They're bringing the reunited kingdom to our doorsteps, people! <laughs> Second age will come again! Oh, no. Second age will come again! 17, no, no, what, what, what's his quote again? 1776! It is come again, isn't it? I don't know. Let us know what the comments down. Honestly, I think every video should be like this from now yeah. on. You should just do Alex Jones for everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm here with a special guest. He's going to tell us more about what the Gondorian government is doing to bring the reunited kingdom. <laughs> Mr. Wormtongue? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wormtongue, you're on the air. Tell us what you know. Well, first thing, Alex, I'd just like to thank you for having me on your show. Oh, you're very welcome, Grimmar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boring. loving this so much. <laughs> right, then, the reunited kingdom is definitely something that's being planned out for quite a while. If you look at some of the things that have been leaked out of Rivendell, things... Oh, it'd be definitely been leaking out of Rivendell. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Rivendell will be up to all sorts. Things the mainstream media won't cover because they're all run by elves. <laughs> You'll see... I, I don't know if we can put this on each. Yes, we are. You'll see that this puppet they're using has been consorting with Sauron for quite a while. Now, just to make things clear for our listeners, when you say puppet, you're talking about Aragorn? Yes, Aragorn. He's the puppet the elves and Sauron are using to push this through. If you look at his history, you'll see he made multiple trips to Umbar. Umbar? Is that the city of the Black Numenorians? Yes, Alex. Umbar is where the king's men who worshipped Melkor settled after Numenor fell. Aragorn has been there several times, sometimes for years. When press, the mainstream media will tell you that he was there for rescue missions. But there's no record of this outside their own propaganda. So for all we know, this heir of Isildur was spending years down there worshipping Melkor and now we're supposed to accept him as our king. It's actually hurting my throat trying to be uh, like gruffly like Alex. It, it is hard to talk like Alex for any length of time. I know. <laughs> Subscribe to Count Dracula on YouTube! <laughs> for sake. <laughs> Yes, exactly. We don't know what he was doing, only that he was unaccounted for in a place where the state religion is Melkor worship. Not only that, but has known history of associating with Sauron. And then out of the blue we get told, Hey, Bardur fell because a bunch of hobbits got through all of Mordor with one ring that Sauron can feel the presence of, and yet supposedly didn't even know it was in his own backyard. And now he's our king. That's what the mainstream media wants you to believe. Here's something else. In Rivendell, after the Council of Eldron, when the decision was made about what to do with the One Ring, not a bit of which was left to the Iridorian people. Oh, of course not, Alex. That's not how elves operate. At the Council, there was a representation from Gondor. He was the only man in the group that took the ring. And what happens? He dies, gets shot by an orc. Even though the battle happened in the day, orcs can't fight in the day, Alex. Oh, I know. It's just disgusting how blatant their lies are. <laughs> Aragon was there too. Oh, well, isn't that just a wonderful coincidence? With Boromir gone, Aragon shows up a week later in Rohan without the ring. 
And then the ring isn't seen or heard from again until the magic day when it gets tossed into the fire by a hobbit. So the man we're supposed to accept as our king murders the only other man in the company, steals the ring, hands it off to his partners in Mordor, who he's been planning this with since his days in Umbar, <laughs> and then waltzes off back to civilization so he can save the day and be crowned king and bring in the reunited kingdom. Thank you to Grimma Wormtongue for telling us what is really going on. We're going to take a break and when we come back, I'll share with you some evidence I found about what really happened when <laughs> our Farazon sealed into the West. I have to say, that's one of the best clean texts. My came throat across. hurts it, so much. <laughs> we, we need more, we need more Alex. Yeah. We really need more Alex. That has got to be my favorite. Yeah, that is text. so good. <laughs> that's one of the best ones I've came across in a long time. Yeah. It'd be hard to top that one, I think, but on to the next one. Last night's D&D session. DM decides to reveal that he's actually a bit of an amateur chef. Spends ten minutes pottering around in the kitchen when we hear the constant churning noise of a blender. Comes back with a large mug filled with thick brown liquid. It's my cosmic briny shake. Just try it. Try it. It tastes like sex with an angel. Everyone drains their mugs. Don't worry, there's plenty left. You can drink as much as you want. And the best part is, it's actually really healthy for you. We start playing, continuing to drink the tasty shakes the entire time. About an hour in, I start to feel funny. One guy dashes off to the bathroom, and a few seconds later we hear him screaming. It's like snakes! It's like snakes are in my gut and they're tearing my tearing apart my asshole! <laughs> no one has any idea what he's talking about. One minute later, everyone knows what he's talking about. I managed to reach one of the three bathrooms. Pain. Agonising pain. Like my liver is strangling my stomach while my intestines tie themselves into knots. I am shitting and crying and occasionally screaming. Hear screaming coming from outside the window. <laughs> one guy didn't manage to get to the bathroom. He's screaming and crying and shitting outside in the backyard. Neighbours walk out of their houses to see what's going on guy in the backyard is pleading with them to kill him. Everyone spends the entire night just shitting and crying. I just got back home and I think I lost 30 pounds. Gaming for the food thread. Did you get the recipe? <laughs> wait, wait, honestly, are you sure he wasn't? They were fucking poisoned. I, it's fucking it sounds like it. Do you like that he was a type of fella? It's like, like owe me a constitution, Stephen, for the little here. <laughs> Alright, hold on one second. Fucking one <laughs> minute. Be simple grill man, doing simple grill stuff. Already broke half the stuff I planned to break today, so things are going great. In the middle of smashing some streetlights when Cutie Boros Angel lands next to me. Oh shit, the police. I go to run, but she catches me, pins me down. You're not going to get off that easily, she says, winking. What? Pulls down my pants. What? Starts giving me a hand job. The fuck does that say? Bor Bor Gigamus and what? <laughs> okay. She leans down and starts using her mouth. I come in no time. Look down and see her turn to face me. It's motherfucking Lazav. No one will ever believe you, he whispers, crawling backwards into a nearby storm drain. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dimmer. <laughs> Unsheaths crossbow. Slowly marches towards you in tight defense formation alongside pikemen. Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Join Roll 20 5th edition game. Every other character the GM describes as androgynous if slightly girly. Every masked enemy at some point takes their masks off to reveal they are a woman. Every man gets three lines of description. Nearly every female gets a full couple of minutes of explanation on top of a custom token. Vampire the party bangs basically any non-gay woman we meet. Warrior is literally given a thick orc wife as a reward for a mission. Right, hold up. Is this fucking garb? Go. <laughs> is this garb? Go, I must ask. In a tavern scene, Warrior takes the orc upstairs and literally describes that everyone can hear them fucking. Two player characters are regularly fucking and very obvious about it every time they come back from being alone together. The rogue literally rapes someone. 
I try to flirt with an NPC for info. LOL, Anon, what the fuck? No one wants to erotic roleplay with you. Why are you making this weird? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, tonight. How do you deal with people? You know, I do think that's, like, a, the ultimate stereotype when it comes to neckbeards. It's someone who is completely not, like, not self-aware. Yeah. Like, I'm a true neckbeard, but at least I'm self-aware, self-aware. of my neckbeard. neckbeard tendencies. You know what I mean? And I think I can control them a bit better. <laughs> All right. <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that Alex Jones one. Cause yeah, I hope you did because it done some damage to my throat. I don't know how the fuck Alex talks like that all the time. I don't know how his throat's that fucked it. up, to be honest with you. But I really enjoyed it. I thought it was one of the best green tags. It's so I've, funny. I, yeah, it was. It was. I can really see it. The way it was presented at all and the way it was written, I thought it was fucking yeah. comic gold, to be honest with you. But you know how it is whenever you mention Alex on YouTube, it's like, get yeeted. Wee! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so, what I'll show you guys, I'll show you something that you guys can check out so if you check the next time we've got an ebay page right we've got plenty of cool models we got the furry hunter it's only a pound and it's pure shit like a pound it's a pound you know like if you wanted to make it yourself you could just make it yourself but like it helps us out and i don't really like the whole patreon and fucking subscribe star yeah. sort of stuff i'm not really into that i'd rather like you know like if you hand us a pound yeah exactly at least so you, you get, get something, something you, out of it. you know what i mean you get something out of it so i think it's a you know what I mean? It's, yeah, a, it's, it's a, a much, win-win. yeah, it's a win-win for everyone involved. You know what I mean? And you guys get a solid pit ship post. I must say, I think it was pretty funny. Although we had to tone it down for the normies, cause like you know, normies. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. But like as always, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. This one had to be one of my favorites in a yeah. while. I love that the inside job of fucking Bard. <laughs> I thought it was fucking comic gold. But like as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, smash that. I can't oh, bring myself. I can't do that. I, I, you know, what makes me cringe is people that go smash. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe But I can't do that. It fucking makes me heave. The yeah, thought no, of it, it's disgusting. Isn't it? It's like, yeah, if you want to subscribe. Uh, yeah, subscribe, if like, you want, comment, all comment. that other shit. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.